those hammers <laughs> happening on YouTube to those newspaper ads soon. We'll check in on that a little bit later. But listen, if you could, speaking on advertising and, and, and pushing goods, if you could open a store anywhere in the world, what would be the best street to put it on? Tough question. Well, if you believe in the motto, follow the money, the answer would be Fifth Avenue right here in New York. It's been rated as the most sought-after retail location for a second year running. That's based on rents paid. Well, here in Hong Kong, the Causeway Bay District comes a pretty close second, followed by Ginza Street in Tokyo. But head on over to Europe, and there's a new leader, as Jim Bolden reports from London. The name's Bond. Call it New Bond Street, Old Bond Street, or just Bond Street. Running from Piccadilly to Oxford Street, it's now Europe's highest rent shopping district. Not a bad place to leave your Ferrari then for a bit of retail therapy. The most glamorous, the most luxurious retailers in the world trade here, and those that aren't here want to join the others. Supply is very limited. It's very rare to find a, a prime store on the street, and when one comes up, there's huge competition. Real estate company Cushman and Wakefield says competition for floor space has made Bond Street the most expensive retail space in Europe when it comes to rent. And it could soon hit $1,000 a square foot. And what helped push Bond Street ahead of the Champs Elysees? Record rent paid for this small Piaget store here in the center of Bond Street. Cushman and Wakefield negotiated the lease with the jewelry maker and says rents here jumped nearly 20% year on year after falling slightly during the economic crisis. Still, Bond Street is behind the big three in terms of rental prices. That's Fifth Avenue in New York, Causeway Bay in Hong Kong, and the Ginza in Tokyo. So what about the fast-growing economies? They're catching up fast. All the BRICS countries or the streets in their major capital cities have moved ahead quite dramatically in the last 12 months. Sao Paulo, um, Khan Market in Mumbai has raced ahead. Uh, Shanghai has also moved up several places. So much for tough times, say customers. I would have thought business would be way down. Um, you know, people are kind of reassessing their values. And I would have thought having a bunch of product purses is not the way to go, but I guess not. I know it's the recession, but still the luxury good is still you know, going up and up. All these houses like Hermes, Vuitton, and Asprey, I mean, they're doing very good actually during the recession. Of course, the downturn is over here in the UK, though it's not clear whether it made much of a difference on streets like this. Jim Bolton, CNN, London. Yeah, with the price of things in mind, let's take another quick look at the European stock markets.